I'm very pleased to be in Uganda. Uh, and uh, I was here just last week at the invitation of uh, my brother Musa, the Minister for Special Programs and Disaster Management. And I was invited to Moroto uh, over uh, the cross-border initiative that we are starting in the Karamoja uh, cluster uh, region. And in less than a week, I'm back here again. I'm uh, very, very pleased to be back in Uganda. We want to thank uh, His Excellency President uh, UAM 70 and uh, the Global Peace team for inviting us to be here. At this uh, forum, we have been asked to talk about entrepreneurship and investment as a catalyst for peace and development. The region I've talked about called Karamoja, I think, uh, is a region where the oldest ancestor of man comes from, the Turukana boy. And that is why it is called the cradle of mankind. About a year ago, I accompanied my president, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta, to France. And we were presenting artifacts that have been found by archaeologists that showed that apart from uh, this Turkana boy being the oldest ancestor of man, in this same region, the Karamoja cluster region, the earliest tools ever made by man were discovered in this same region. And as much as it was all agreed universally that this region is a cradle of mankind, it was also agreed in France at the time that this same region is really the cradle of entrepreneurship. Because when you look at those crude tools, it was the first sign of human intelligence. Very crude tools that, stones that could cut and holes that could dig, it came out of human intelligence. And these were the first entrepreneurs. So I want to say that even as we meet right here in Kampala, and we celebrate entrepreneurship, we want to say that we are not only the cradle of mankind, but we are also the cradle of entrepreneurship. And as uh, our moderator has said, peace is necessary for development. But also, without development, you cannot have peace. When you look at this uh, cluster region where we were meeting, we're saying we must do something to ensure that we bring development to some of these far-flung areas of our countries where not much development has reached the people and perhaps there has been a history of uh, uh, marginalization and there is a need for affirmative action to be taken in terms of development to be able to foster peace in this region across the borders. We are also looking at how we can use development as a tool to be able to build bridges and we are saying, instead of uh, the borders being barriers, we want to see how we can make the borders into bridges of bringing communities across borders to work together, to develop together. And we have what uh, Ambassador Mahabub said during the official opening, a very innovative way of looking at this. And what we are saying is that for the first time, we want to sit together and agree that though we are different countries, we are really the same people. When you look at the communities living in Uganda, the Karamoja on this side of the border, and you look at the Turkana on the other side of the border, you look at the Toposa in Ethiopia, you look at uh, the South Sudan, you realize that 
the commonalities in terms of culture, in terms of language, in terms of uh, challenges, as well as opportunities, make it imperative that we must see how to take a common approach in planning together as government, in devising programs, joint programs, and in also treating this region as one ecological region so that we be able to plan. We look at the challenge that the uh, Ugandans are having on this side of Karamoja and uh, Kenyans, the Turkana on this side, the Pokot on the other side and the Toposa. You realize that their challenge is one, they all are pastoralists. They all need water. They all need pasture for the animals. And what we need to do is uh, ensure that we put in place the necessary infrastructure to ensure that there's water for uh, the animals, there's pasture, there's irrigation also to provide food, as well as the infrastructure. I was very saddened when I had to after being invited, travel from Nairobi over 600 kilometers to Entebbe. And I took a flight that took almost 50 minutes, almost an hour, only to connect from Entebbe to Moroto, again over 500 kilometers. And I took another over 50 minutes to land in Moroto to meet my brother ministers to discuss the issues. But when I was entering Moroto, I was telling my governor, Professor Wanyanga Paul, I don't know if he's in the gathering here today. Yes, oh, the professor there. Oh, please just stand for a minute. The, 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 the gentleman there is uh, the governor of uh, West Pokot County. We had also invited the governor for Turkana County, but I think he's in the US. He will be joining us for the next meeting as well as uh, the governor for Mandera and Moyale, I mean Masabit County. The, 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 these are the frontier counties that uh, we are talking about uh, as we are taking uh, these cross-border initiatives. We will also be working very closely as national governments together with the county governments and the regional leadership to uh, work on initiatives that will bring development to these regions, that will bring peace, and uh, as I was talking to him, he was saying, I asked him when I entered Moroto, after flying uh, for two hours and covering over a thousand kilometers to reach Moroto, I saw a signpost in Moroto town showing my hometown Kitai. On the other side, I saw a signpost showing Turkana. So I asked, how far is Kitai from here? I was told it's less than 200 kilometers. So I was like, then why did you just tell me to drive from home to Moroto? I was told the challenge is really the road. But we are working on this, and uh, even as we talk about developing projects like uh, uh, the dams, and we must be grateful, my brother, uh, Minister from Karamoja, uh, the, the dams that you have built on your side, I think it's called Debe. That dam has really helped not just the Ugandan pastoralists, but uh, we have pastoralists crossing in uh, from West Pokot, from Professor Lonyanda Paul's uh, county, from Turukana. I think the Toposa also cross over there to come and uh, use the water and the pasture. And we, we don't take this for granted. I think this is the true brotherhood that uh, we want to strengthen. But also start projects and programs that can build uh, resilience for the communities living uh, along these borders and uh, what the Ugandans have done on this side would like to uh, build more dams on the Kenyan side would like to see the infrastructure fixed and uh, we are talking about already starting a road uh, from the Kachaliba side that will connect West Pokot uh, to Konyao and uh, uh, would like to see the Uganda side also uh, have this road from Moroto that will take us a very short time to connect with uh, Makutano, Kitale and Turkana. So these are some of the things that we are talking about as we talk about uh, investment. Infrastructure is critical, peace is critical, and peace will start with the transformation of the very livelihood of the people who live across these two borders. And that is why we started this cross-border initiative. We want to thank IGA, 
and Ambassador Mahabub, I don't know if he's here, because we were able to launch uh, uh, these uh, drought uh, disaster resilience uh, uh, unit. We were given an office by uh, our Ugandan brothers, uh, and I'm very, very pleased that the Minister for Karamoja actually uh, has agreed to share the office with us. And this unit will be able to help the countries uh, that we have talked about work together to uh, initiate projects, to plan together uh, over this Karamoja cluster as one ecological zone, and to be able to transform the lives of the people. And once we have that, you will see that uh, we will be able to boost investments in this area, we will be able to promote uh, entrepreneurs, so that those young people who for years have been pastoralists and for years have engaged in practices such as cattle wrestling, with the plan that we have working together, we will be able to transform young people who have been cattle wrestlers into entrepreneurs, we will be able to bring peace, and we will be able to create a middle class that has not existed before, and in a way stabilize this region. So these are some of the ideas I just wanted to share with you, and to thank you, and uh, uh, just assure you that we will be hosting in Nairobi. The next meeting, uh, we'll be inviting uh, uh, my brother, uh, together with our ministers for water, as well as our, our colleagues who are in charge of infrastructure, so that we can look at this cross-border initiative as one tool of dealing with the conflicts uh, along our borders, as one tool of developing resilience and promoting investments in areas where investors have shied off because of the uh, existing conflicts, because of the lack of infrastructure, and because of the instability across our borders. So I'm very, very pleased to be here, and I want to thank all of you. As uh, the uh, opening prayer said, uh, blessed are the peacemakers, I, one thing I didn't agree with, uh, he only said they will be called sons of God. I see daughters of God in this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you, women from, I mean, uh, uh, contribute greatly to peace. Most of the conflicts and the wars are started by men. And I believe uh, the, 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 the right scripture would say, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. I believe that's. Uh, what we are, all of us gathered in this room, and all of us who have traveled all the way to be part of this historic conference. And I thank you for making time to be here. God bless you.